Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I must say that today is still really beautiful because of the gift of life that we experience day by day. But I'm so sad to witness the disease that this goldfish, one of the biggest goldfish that I had, experienced because it's dying actually. I made research about the disease and I found out that this is called dropsy. This is uh, actually more of a symptom than a disease. And the real disease inside may be caused by the swollen liver or maybe the kidneys of this fish that it resulted to the rising up of the skin or the scales and it gives us the impression now that this is gonna die and this is one of the saddest thing that would happen to a fish keeper when your fish will experience this kind of disease the good side of this is that this is not contagious this dropsy is not like other fungal or bacterial infections that are really very contagious once you will see that the scale of your fish will you know rise like like the pearl scale then it gives you now the idea that this fish has trouble deep inside in the organs in the intestines maybe or in the vital organs of the fish and the sad thing is that when this fish will experience the dropsy it will no longer survive the best option is to get the fish out of the tank or just throw them or euthanize them because it will not anymore survive and this is the saddest thing that would happen to a fish keeper in my 20 years experience of breeding this tropical fish the goldfish and other fish i seldom experience this dropsy because dropsy is the result of the poor aeration the poor filtration system and then another thing might be you have fed your fish with unclean live food and then because of the stress that your fish had experienced this stress can be caused by so many things number one is the injury of your fish number two is that your fish had experienced this uh, prolonged power interruption and many others there are many causes of this dropsy and uh, the moment they in and i experienced this one it saddens my heart actually because i'm really attached to my to my pets this fish have given us many babies in fact we already have grown plenty of the babies and the reason may be because of the sudden transfer because this used to be raised in the aquarium the glass tank and I transferred them here because I wanted to you know give them good aeration system and uh, this happens maybe because of the transfer it was the result of the stress she can still swim but I am not anymore expecting her to survive and this is sad but the good side of this is that we already have plenty of this kind of giant oranda these jumbo lines we already have plenty of the future breeders and it will not affect our business but of course you will feel sad you will feel this uh, emptiness inside and i feel guilty this guiltiness inside but of course i have to overcome it's not my fault it's not everyone's fault because each of them will really die just like human beings they will all die it's just that we don't know when so i will admit that you know this is the natural thing that would occur in in life as a fish keeper or as a fish breeder So guys, this is an ending activity for a fish keeper. We breed, we grow, and then we harvest. Our staff now is 
trying to harvest the remnants of this fish that we have grazed here. We have a little problem because I believe that some of the fish were eaten up by the catfish because the catfish are able to jump especially during the night and when the rain comes the water level of the tank will rise up that this catfish can you know literally jump over this tank so this is one of the things that we have to address because i believe that there were plenty of fish that were eaten up by the catfish and nevertheless i still would like to mention that the system of filtration here is doing well for us i already have made mention about the filtration system and you will see that there are actually one two three four big tanks and this tank is not utilized for fish but this is utilized for our filter media which are all natural these are all plants <clears throat> so you will look at the fish they're actually healthy and very active but one big challenge here is they're growing with not similar size I mean their size are not similar and the reason for this is the overcrowding I'd like to tell you once more that our intention is not to produce this big fish we only like to produce the aquarium size fish for sale in the market because in the aquarium you don't have to you know grow your fish big We will clean the tank for our goldfish. I'm sure that we can catch some catfish right there. Can you catch all the catfish that are invading in this tank? Mark, can you do it? Please catch all the catfish. And I'd like to also make an advance uh, information or some kind of announcement for our viewers that we are aiming to revive our beta and our guppy fish uh, farm. And along that uh, desire, we're gonna be teaching you also on how to make a tank for our beta made of this fiberglass. We are already doing this before, we, we have not shown it to you. So in our coming videos, we're gonna tell you um, how to make this uh, guppy tank out of the fiberglass. Oh, he, oh, he show, 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 show. Ah. So there is one big catfish right here, and this is oh responsible for eating up all our fry. And this is the downside if you are going to raise catfish side by side with the Japanese koi and goldfish, because uh, there is really tendency that no matter how careful we are. There's really this tendency that this catfish during rainy season can really jump over the tank of the other fish. This is it. This is a male catfish. And this is one of the reasons why the other did not survive because this catfish ate them all. So we will throw this to the tank of the catfish. Okay, so now we will make some selection here. And I told you that when we are going to harvest our Japanese koi, we have to be ready about the water. The water should be aged water. If this will be neglected, then chances are we will become failure in our in our desire to to sell our products because they will die just simple mistake of loading this because they're already very stressed they were disturbed already from the main tank that they are in and then we're gonna harvest them and then put them in a water which is not in good condition and they will certainly die so you will see that we have aged this water for one month, I think. 
this one. Oh. This gallon of water. It's been aged for more than a month already and this is very safe now for our fish. So we will put this aged water inside the plastic bag and then we will put the fish, we will put some oxygen and that's gonna be the perfect method on how to transport our fish without risking their lives. As peacekeeper for more than 20 years, I make it sure that during the harvest, I will really be present. I mean, I will personally supervise the harvest because this is the very crucial you know, task that we have to put special attention on it. Because if we will fail, then all our efforts from the breeding to the raising and the money that we have spent, the time that we have spent, just to be able to grow this fish will just you know become useless if we will fail in during the harvest that's why we made several harvests already in our old farm at the mud pond and i made it sure that i would really be present giving instructions on what to do in order to save the lives of this uh, fish so this is quite a dedication that we have to forego all the co-equal important activities and concentrate on the harvest so you will see now the process we have transferred all the fish right here in this uh, plastic bag which contains an aged water and along the process we have to make sure that this fish will not run short of oxygen that's why we deem it very necessary to put this air pump here so that their liver will not be affected because the moment that the fish will gasp for breath for a long period of time maybe for five ten minutes then the liver will swell and then it will cause their instantaneous death so we have to bear in mind that in every step of the procedure we'll make sure that they will not run short of oxygen which is through this air pump So guys, we have showed you the process of transfer and the process of harvest. This uh, simple technique would ensure us success in our business of selling this kind of tropical fish. And uh, I'd like to make a shout out to the members of this channel and even to our followers and subscribers. Thanks a lot for your constant viewing to our videos and our intention here is to be able to reach 2 million for the first quarter of 2023 i hope so we can do it because we are now close to 1.5 million so guys thank you for watching and i hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe because we are doing videos every two days now and i would like to see you in our next video only here at, at dexter's, dexter's world, world.